to the land. There is something that God was doing. And what God said was, at that time, a prophet rose up and she began to prophesy. And she said to both Michelle and me, son and daughter, I have raised you up in the opposite spirit. I am increasing your children so that you may know I deliberately planted you in the city of abortion. And suddenly it clicked. The city that we came from, Brighton, we had more deaths than live births at one point in time. It was the busiest abortion clinic in all of Europe. Third, third busiest clinic in all of Europe. And suddenly we realized through the normality of obeying God and in family life, God was putting a stake in the ground and he was saying, my marriage order, my family order will not be removed from the earth no matter what the enemy will try to do, no matter what sin and rebellion will bring, I will set my order because there is redemption for the land through family. So it is in that place that we began to recognize the prophetic nature of God's purpose in the purity of marriage, in the purity of family life. So in that place, God gives us the place of authority to be able to pray and cancel out the enemy edicts that the enemy has to bring about devastation and destruction for the human race. And it comes through human rights, doesn't it? There are three things that you have to sign up. If Sri Lanka wants to get a loan from, I don't know anybody working for UN here, if you want to get an international loan, you know the three things that you have to sign for? One is you need to sign for that you agree with abortion. The other one that you need to sign for that you agree with this, all these gender uh, situations. The third thing that you uh, sign for is the whole LGBTIQ movement. If you sign for those three things, you'll get plenty of money from any international organization. So there was a nation in Eastern Europe who had come to see us as a, a group of people and asking us to pray for them. And they said, listen, UN is demanding this. European Union is demanding this. But we are holding out and they are saying they are not going to give us the money. And they were faithful. They held out and they even went for a national vote and they remained in their constitution and they didn't get the money. So who cares? Because God will provide for them. So we are in nations that we can make decisions, national decisions. There is only a small group of people who actually taught the purpose of God. So we have to pray. Church needs a position to affect government, to affect legislation, which this church does. I must say, we have been so blessed to come and see such a level of watchman intercessory grace here that they take things hold of what God is saying and take it before God. So in that place, God will open ways for the church to begin to contribute to legislation. God will cause it to happen that the government will seek the counsel of the church. I am telling you as surely as I know, these are the days Pharaohs are going to be looking for the Josephs. These are the days God is going to raise up men and women at that, at that high level and God is going to terrify them with dreams and visions and they will not know what to do. That their only way forward is not to seek Sastra, not to seek horoscope, not to seek uh, black magic, not to seek any of those vain uh, contexts, but they will seek the counsel of the Lord. They will seek the counsel of the Lord. So church, arise and be ready and be prepared. So when that call comes, you respond and you give the counsel of the Lord as in the days of Daniel, as in the days of Joseph, because they changed the entire empire that they were part of. These are the days that God has brought us to. And these are the days, the reason I'm emphasizing family, that is one thing that you're called to hold, not because you're Sri Lankan, but because you're God's people. Because God's people according to Genesis chapters 1 and 2 and 3 He says I am Elohim Don't shift my creative order My creative order is what will recreate Don't change it That's what will reproduce That's what will multiply That's where the power is And it is that that the devil will bow to